So what I'm going to be demonstrating is how a, a VM can be protected utilizing the Cloud Unity disaster recovery functionality um, to a remote node that's running on a uh, Google Compute instance. Um, and here I have just a, a single node instance here, and it's running two VMs. Um, and one of them is fairly important, that's the Unity Gateway. And that's a small micro VM. It's just got uh, you know, half a gig of memory and one CPU. But this is providing the secure layer two connectivity to our remote compute instance. Um, and then I've also got just a basic application dev server here. Um, it's got a small web browser running on it, uh, or web server. That was creative, just a couple of links in there. Um, and that's all that's going on in that server. And it is being replicated and protected to a remote scale computing node that is a virtual node running in the Google Cloud Platform. So this is a Cloud Unity, Unity disaster recovery mode um, or disaster, disaster recovery node. And this is running, again, we're protecting just one virtual workload. And in this case, you know, we have the, the recent snapshots from a few reboots we had done. So I'm actually gonna power these VMs off. So we'll just have a quick DR simulation here. They weren't systematically shut down. These were actually just, you know, killed. So this node is essentially down. There's no VMs running on it now. And we're gonna to want to have access to that. So we have a third site, another DR site where we have, in this case, I've already powered this on. So we have another copy of that Unity gateway running on any scale computing cluster or single node. So once this gets reconnected here, I'll just, uh, we'll be able to start pinging the other site and have it back online. Now it's back. So now we can go back to our source cluster here, actually our, excuse me, our Cloud Unity target. And let's go ahead and get the most recent snapshot we had. We're gonna create a VM from that. So just a few seconds here, we'll have that. And now I can power this VM back on. So this is going to be the VM as it was 7.18 p.m. So now that I can get this VM power back on, I'll be able to get the web server started. It'll start up automatically and we'll be back in business. So wherever I can have that Cloud Unity Gateway VM um, running, that's going to be your basically managed network for your DR. So if that's, again, whether it's running on a single node, wherever that's going to be running, it's gonna provide you that access to, to the remote VM. Yeah. So now it's back online, and again, we should be able to access that website as well.